Hey YouTube, and welcome to the first real episode of our Let's Build a Calculator series. Now this is going to be the calculator that we learn how to build first. And it's an ultra compact calculator that Greece and I designed about a week ago. And we've actually improved on this design and I will be incorporating those improvements in our Let's Build video. But I'll just give you a basic idea of what it is come over here. It's a very basic single digit addition calculator. We'll just put a number in. We can do 8 and I'll display the number 8. And it is a little slow and that's something else we'll improve on when we're building it together. I can do plus. I can choose another number like 9. The second number is the slowest here. There we go. You press equals 17. So it's a completely working single digit edition calculator really compact we love this design easy to build easy to work with I hope you guys will enjoy it alright so now that we've seen it we know how it works what it looks like we will hop into a different world and I'll teach you guys how to build it so I'll be right back okay we're back and in this episode I'm gonna teach you guys how to build the brains of the calculator and this is Greece and I's super compact computer design I don't think anyone has ever made a computer this small and this capable of doing so many things the total size of this brains is 19 this way and 29 this way by 2 and this is the result of about four or five months of building and redesigning to make this calculator and I have it a uh, finished model here set up working I'll show you guys how kind of how it works you got your 10 inputs along this side 0 to 9 and then your 10 inputs along this side 0 to 9 and if we choose some numbers here we can do say this one is 3 so we'll do 3 and you can do plus 3 if you want and you see where the 3 and the 3 meet up this torch turns on and that would be outputted to a decoder and then went to the display to say the answer is 6 so it works really well this calculator can also be used for um, subtraction multiplication division and a lot of other mathematical functions that we will be incorporating and demonstrating in some future videos so let's go ahead and I'll teach you guys how to build it now the first thing you want to do is place a block, skip to, place a block. You want to do this until you have 10 blocks in a row and those will be your first 10 inputs. So we got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so the first 10 inputs are here. And then you go this direction and you skip one block and place a block. One, two, or sorry, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you do that for every single block. So I'm going to skip to when I have that done. Okay, I've got that done. And now the next thing you guys are going to do is you're going to place a repeater in front of every block and then a torch on the side. And you just go down the line and do that all the way down like this. And you do that down every row for every single block. So, for time's sake, again, I will do this and I'll be back. So, feel free to pause the video and do it yourself and then come back when you're done. Okay, hopefully you've all got that done. The next step is, in my opinion, the most annoying step. I go along here and place a block on top of every single torch. And then once you do that, you place a repeater on top of these blocks into the block you place on top of the torch and this step will take quite a while just because I always have trouble actually hitting the small hitbox on top of the torch and then once you do that you place a torch on top of these blocks like so so you go down and you'll do this for every row pause the video here and come back when you're done alright now this calculator is starting to take shape the next thing you're going to do here is 
place a line of stone blocks starting one away from the last repeater and then just going all the way down and you're going to do this in between every single row of torches you just made so you go from here all the way to the end and you'll go down here start one block away from the end of that repeater and then keep going all the way along this row so do this and then come back and we'll have the next step now one thing I forgot to mention that I want to make sure you guys realize is that on this side of your computer you do need a row of stone on the outside whereas on this side you don't so take a look at this make sure you have your row along the outside here but you don't need one here also on a side note you don't need these last two stone bricks in every row so you can go ahead and take those out if you want to conserve oop, to conserve blocks or just to make your calculator look as small as possible now the next step is going to be going down this row down every row and putting a torch on the end of these blocks that power into the repeaters you want to make sure you do it this direction that requires you not that makes it so you don't have to have the row here and you do this along every row until you have all the repeaters powered and I'm just going to go ahead and do this on camera I'm trying not to make too many jump cuts but at the same time I want to try to save as much time as possible I have Grease sitting here with me actually and every time I stop recording he jumps on and helps me get this done real quick so I can get back to recording so I'm going to let him relax for a minute too so anyway the basic idea of this is that we're creating a giant group of AND gates and every AND gate uh, this direction is connected together and every AND gate this direction is connected together meaning that if it has just one input from both in from both input sides there will be just one output meaning that just one of these torches is going to light up and in our next episode I'll go over what you do with uh, the answer what you do with the signal output by this computer and how you turn it into a full-blown calculator I just got one more row here and we'll go on to the next step and feel free to pause if you need to slow down and take a look do it at your own pace here okay next thing you need to do is put redstone all along these rows of stone that you just made but they're gonna short if you put them next to these torches so make sure you put repeaters in between every torch now you're gonna want to make sure that repeaters are all facing the same direction and for the sake of this tutorial just make sure they're all facing this direction so that power has to be put in from this side for to travel along okay so I'm gonna go ahead and jump off camera here and get this finished up now now once you've got that done your final product should look something like this this is actually the whole computer now you're done you've finished the first step of the process I'll just leave this sitting here for a second so you can take a look and compare it to what you have and make sure it's right and if not you can go back and change it okay now just one last thing we can do for testing purposes is you can put a lever along each of these repeaters you have facing into the blocks should be 10 here so you can count and check and make sure that you got that right and then over here you put a lever on the end of each of these stone lines and then you can test your addition process here you can flick any one torch on either side or any one lever on either side and only one torch on top should light up when you do that and if that happens then you know you've built it correctly and you're ready to go on to the next step alright guys I hope you enjoyed the first episode of our how to build a calculator series and keep your eyes open for the next one thanks